What's going on, YouTube? Got another video coming at you from the RC Dungeon. Uh, I got some parts that came. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm back to using my phone for the video. Uh, I just didn't. I'm tired of switching my SD card in and out from my phone to my uh, ca other camera. So I just went ahead and throwed it in there because this isn't going to be a real long video. Um, I decided to go ahead and do this up so I can get some parts installed. I'm still waiting on some parts that I put an order in for. Um, some of the stuff came in here. Um, I got a Roven, their CNC, uh, isolator block here I'm going to be installing on the 36cc. Um, I got, of course, if you guys have an XR, or I think this fits the XT, uh, maybe something else too. I don't know if it, you know the rampages, but it will fit this style. I got some CNC Red Cats upgrade cent aluminum center diff mounts. Um, you see the part number there, seventy one zero 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 one. I noticed that some of this stuff saying discontinued on their website, so I'm not going crazy on aluminum stuff on this build, but I wanted the aluminum center diffs. I'm um, probably going to be getting the aluminum uh, gear plate for it because I am running a little more, you know, more power with the 36. Uh, I got some new fuel line installed, some high flow fuel line from DDM on the fuel tank tonight. It's what I just got finished doing. Uh, sorry, guys, I had to get a drink of coffee here. I just thought I'd do a quick video for y'all. Uh, I got a cool wrap coming for the engine for the 36cc. I think it'd be pretty cool. Uh, I just wanted to dress it up a little bit, you know, even though it is a roving engine, uh, which is nothing wrong with roving engines. I just, you know, I did want to dress it up a little bit. I used to put a wrap on the on my, you know, this isn't going to be a high end build or anything. Uh, I've been trying to find the top aluminum, their CNC plate here. I was going to purchase that. Once again, that's. Uh, looks like it's discontinued from Red Cat. Um, I was considering the aluminum diff housings here. I'm just not real sure. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of confused because I see it looks like the MT diff housings. I mean, it will fit. It's just really weird. There's some parts. When you look some stuff up with the Red Cat Rampage platform, it's kind of weird with some of the stuff that fits and some of it that doesn't. So. Um, it says, and I've seen, and I, there's a guy that has a, it's a very old video on YouTube. Um, he did install the aluminum housings on the XR, so I'm assuming they fit. Um, I was trying to kind of get all my aluminum stuff to match, like, uh, the center diff collars, the same collars as this chassis. The only thing I can come up with is the blue aluminum transmission plate, which I know I can strip the anodizing off of it, but... I am not going that far in depth with doing that. I've done that in the past. I'm just not messing with that. Um, so I guess I'll be stuck with getting the blue, the blue aluminum uh, uh, up, upgrade trans transmission plate. That's probably one of the last things I'm going to be getting. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and get the rear hubs in aluminum to have them and the C hubs uh, up here in aluminum uh, because there's not just a whole lot else that they really actually even consider really even make for these. Um, and like I said, stuff's getting kind of, you know, scarce. Uh, it's kind of strange, uh, truthfully that I'm surprised that Red Cat is discontinuing a lot of those parts because, uh, there's still a lot of these rampages that people are, you know, they're still pretty popular, you know, platform. Uh, looks like they're keeping pretty much all the stuff for the MT, uh, which obviously if the MT uses the same as the XR diffs, they'll probably keep making the aluminum housings. Uh, I'm just trying not to get in that big expensive of a build for this uh, at this point in time. Uh, I'm just trying to keep it a low budget, just, you know, a few hop-ups here and there uh, to see how everything goes. Um, but yeah, uh, I am going to be, you can see I got it stripped down here and I've cleaned it up because uh, I've been working on it. I'm going to be ordering some different gears here, uh, or playing with the gearing, with some of the Red Cat gearing. 
uh, to try to get a little more little more speed out of this thing. And of course, you might this might look sitting on there wonky because this I've got my rear diff undone or the re the, the rear half of the car, the XR is undone because you have to take it take this off and slide your rear housing off to get your rear dog bone uh, from your center diff because it goes through your fuel tank because I had to take the fuel tank off. I cleaned it, uh, put a new uh, fuel clunk in there. Uh, and new fuel lines, better fuel lines. The fuel lines that were on it were all dry rotted and starting to crack. Um, I wasn't experiencing any kind of problems with them, but they were dry rotting and everything. So, and I, I mean, this is better line uh, that DDM sells, I think. I mean, I've ran it on some of my other stuff. So, you know, it's just basically maintenance stuff. Uh, checked all my diffs. When I had this off, the diff on the bottom is open on these. Uh, where it sets flat on the chassis you can look up in there and see your ring and pinion gears and stuff everything looked really good still got good grease and everything not any major you know abnormal wear or nothing i'm not tearing the front down to check it uh you know it, it i'm sure it's okay everything still still holding up pretty well and, and i've got a lot i've got quite a bit of fuel run through this thing now uh, and i haven't really i mean i haven't been super easy on it so i'm pretty impressed with with how longevity, I guess you could say, how it's holding up on like, because my XT, I broke, I broke a lot of parts, uh, diff, diff parts, uh, the dog bones, this has a CVD style, which is a little different than the XT, uh, which I think the newer XTs, newer versions had upgraded with the CVD style uh, axles, but I used to break these cups all the time, strip out the, the, uh, the ring gears, chip them, uh, I did have a lot of trouble, not a lot, lot, but enough, um, to where it got pretty aggravating, you know, uh, but it was the older XT, and I really beat, I really beat that truck pretty hard too, so, uh, but anyhow, we got, we got some work going to be getting done to the, to the XR, I just wanted to do a short video, share with you guys, got it all cleaned up and everything, and I got the wrap coming for the engine, going to be getting that installed, uh, CNC isolator um, uh, let's see I got a velocity stack uh, like I said I've got a unifilter and then a ball haul filter a unifilter uh, the outer wares I've got everything gonna be upgrading all of that um, so and then of course you know putting our jet pro our jet pro pipe back on I got to get it cleaned up and everything get it polished back up and stuff uh, we'll be going back on it and then we'll be seeing what we can get out of this 36cc roving engine. Uh, I'm really excited to get it running. I was planning on getting you guys some run footage today. This is another reason why I'm kind of doing this video, the Rampage MT. The weather here went back to being crap again. Um, so, you know, started raining and everything. So I didn't even, I didn't get any run time on the MT. I've been really, really, really wanting to have been taking it out. Uh, I've got my other ball haul 5T ready to rock and roll. I want, I'd like to take it out too. Uh, I just, with the weather and everything, it's just been really crappy, guys. It's not been too fantastic. So, um, you know, anyhow, this project's, you know, there's going to be more videos coming of it. If you guys are interested in it, stay tuned. You know, uh, I may do like the transmission, the aluminum plate install. You know, I mean, there's not a whole lot to it, but just to do kind of an install video. Uh, you know, it's uh, just to get you guys some you know, some wrench footage. I don't have a way of, like, editing stuff, so most of my stuff's just, like, straight to it. And, you know, I, I don't even have a laptop. I use my phone pretty much for everything. So um, that's why you won't see any kind of, like, majorly edited videos or anything coming from me. Uh, I'd like to. I don't even really have that much time to put into it. So <laughs> I wish I did, but I don't. Uh, I just try to do you guys the best I can with what I have to do it with. Uh so with that being said, I just thought I'd share with you guys some updates for the uh, XR. If anybody sees these videos and they like them, like and subscribe, check it out, you know, or, you know, at least like it. If you're actually interested in the XR, I don't even think you can get these guys. Um, I actually had a guy that was trying to deal me out of this XR, believe it or not. Um, and he was offering me a, actually a pretty good trade deal, and I turned him down. Just because, you know, he's been trying to get one of these and, you know, they're pretty much out everywhere and they're discontinued. So, uh, it's like everything else, I guess. It's just, you know, they, it's not popular enough. I don't really know what's going on, but uh, you can get it on the Red Cats website and there's a lot of stuff. 
that unfortunately that's getting discontinued. And a lot of it's just out of stock. It says that there is a lot that's discontinued now. So anyhow, with that being said, guys, I just thought I'd get you a quick video of what's going on in the RC Dungeon and what we've been wrenching on. So you guys have a good weekend. Peace. Keep the brightness alive.